all of these butane torches were returned by customers because they believed they did not work. The fact is there's nothing wrong with any of these torches. They all work perfectly. A butane torch is easy to operate, but sometimes a novice can become confused and think a torch is malfunctioning when it's not. One of the most common mistakes people make is choosing the wrong type of butane. When the wrong butane is used, the torch can clog and sputter. Look for butane that is designed for torches. This is blazer butane. It's special because it's triple refined. If it doesn't say triple refined on the can, it's not the right stuff. Here's a can of the wrong type of butane. The label says it's premium, but that's not the same as triple refined. Nowhere on this can does it say triple refined. The nipple can also be a problem. Each brand has its own style of nipple. This one is plastic. Blazer Butane includes a set of nipple adapters to accommodate a variety of nipple sizes. You'll lose a lot of gas when filling if the nipple does not fit properly. Another common mistake is thinking the torch is filled when it's not. To fill a torch, turn it upside down and insert the nipple into the fill tube. Press down and hold until the butane spits. You'll hear the air in the tank expelling as the gas fills. You'll also feel the tank getting cold. The tank is not filled until it spits. It's also important to let the gas equalize after filling. Set the torch aside for three to five minutes before lighting. If you ever need to empty a torch, which you should do before traveling, our mini pallet knife works great. Use the tip of the knife to press the fill tube and hold it down while the gas releases. You'll be able to hear the gas escaping. Let it rest a few seconds and then repeat. It takes a lot longer to empty a torch than it does to fill it, so you may have to repeat this several times before it's totally empty. To be sure, try to light the torch. If it doesn't light, it's empty. All of our butane torches feature a safety switch like this micro torch. To light, slide the safety switch down, then press the igniter button, and then press the flame lock to keep it lit. There's an oxygen adjustment on the top. Less oxygen gives a softer, cooler flame. More oxygen gives a sharper, hotter flame. On the right side of the torch, there's a gas adjustment. Slide it forward for more gas and back for less. To turn the torch off, press the igniter button. The micro torch is easy to work with one hand. To light the Spitfire torch, roll the safety switch up, then press down on the igniter, and then slide the flame lock in place. The Spitfire oxygen adjustment is on the top. Less oxygen gives a cooler, softer flame, and more oxygen gives a sharper, hotter flame. The gas adjustment is on the right. If you roll it back all the way, it'll shut off. The proper way to turn off the Spitfire is to use the flame lock switch. This is the metal clay firing torch. To light, pull down on the safety switch, then press the igniter and lock the flame on. The flame can be adjusted with the gas adjustment on the right. This big flame is perfect for torch firing metal clay. There's an oxygen adjustment on this model, but it's not all that useful. It's clumsy to use and it can get very hot quickly, so I never use it. To turn this torch off, just slide the lock switch forward. This is the jumbo sized metal clay firing torch. It holds more gas, so the flame lasts much longer than the other models, and it operates exactly the same as the smaller versions. Many of our torches have a removable base for ease of use. The base is only for storage when not in use. Never leave a lit torch in the stand. It should always be held in your hand for positive control of the flame. Visit our learning center at www.cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, contests, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.